What's up, everyone? Zeph Films here. Happy, uh, happy 2019. Hope everybody is having a good year so far, and uh, everybody had good holidays. And uh, yeah, we're we're gonna be playing some of the new content that was uh, introduced to us in uh, Star Trek Online under uh, Mirror of Discovery. And the first mission that we're gonna be playing is uh, Parapasem. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, I've already played through them once before. I just kind of wanted to enjoy them uh, without worrying about editing uh, or recording and editing and all that. So uh, yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. And I might have some. I might be doing something a little bit different in uh, in this video. Uh, so you'll definitely want to watch and see what it is that I do differently in this uh, playthrough. So let's uh, let's play this first mission of Mirror of Discovery. I am the leader. Vulcan research team studying the unique ecology of the planet Pavo. Starfleet has informed me that an ion storm is active in the Pavo system. Logic suggests that the storm is blocking communications. However, storms of that magnitude can have other effects, some of a deleterious nature. As a precaution, the Alliance has asked me to accompany your vessel to the Pavo system. We are to determine the status of the research team and offer assistance if necessary. I am prepared to leave at your earliest convenience. All right, so uh, you get some experience, some dilithium, and then you get the choice of uh, a particle generator or a uh, shield. Uh, my first run through, I went with the shield just because it was a little bit better than what I had already. So we're going to hit accept. And let's hit course. And I'm just going to transwarp because it's free. Alright, let's, uh, let's dive into this mission. We're here. Uh, I'm just going to say, I think one of the best quality of life uh, things that they introduced is it not costing EC to uh, transwarp to your mission start point. Uh, I think that's awesome. Lieutenant Commander, there is no response on comms from the Pavo research station. The ion storm is causing a lot of interference. However, it's possible our hails may not be reaching them. What's causing the interference? The storm is creating spatial disturbances throughout the system. If we analyze their patterns, we might be able to position the ship at a point where communication is possible. All right, let's do it. Initial scans are picking up clouds of ionized subspace radiation, chronometric particles. This is curious. Sensors are registering a stationary object. It is not far from our position. An object? Is it a ship? Unlikely. I suspect it is one of the Starfleet navigation buoys placed throughout the system. However, the ionization of subspace is warping and distorting the sensors. As a result, an accurate identification is not possible at this range. Darn, let's get closer. So right off the bat, I really like this system. Uh, so you'll probably see me using this in future uh, Fresh Out of Space Dock videos. Just because the, the lighting is actually really cool and I like the lightning effects that's happening in and around us right now. Get that ready. Uh, so I am on a, the new Discovery character that I played when uh, Age of Discovery was introduced, and I'm using the Prototype Light Exploration Cruiser. Uh, I was using the Malachowski, but uh, I was getting kind of knocked around a lot. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I think this first part of battle that come it, that's coming up, I died three or four times. It's just the ship just as I suspected. Keep up. The navigational buoy it appears to be inactive, however. Let's scan it. The navigational buoys here are configured to broadcast a message on all frequencies. It is intended to inform those who arrive here that Pavo is a protected reserve. Sensors indicate heavy hull ionization on this buoy. I believe it has been disabled by the effects of the ion storm. 
Navigational buoy 226 is nearby and should provide us with the means to reinforce hailing frequencies between the ship and the Pavo research station. However, I recommend caution in navigating further into the system. The ion storm is quite volatile. All right, let's go to 226. Yeah, no, this this system is really nice. I like the lighting. I love the lightning bolt effects. It's just it's just so cool. Within acceptable margins of error, comms are secured, hailing frequency is open, and nobody's responding. Local conditions are still a factor here. The buoys may not be able to overcome the st storm's interference, even with our assistance. Uh, all right, so it looks like we have to cut through the storm. I have detected something of interest. Sensors show the formation of a spatial anomaly nearby. Uncertain. It appears to be providing stability to the ion storm, similar to the eye of a hurricane. All right, let's go towards it. The ISS Discovery. And here comes the new part, cinematic mode. Sensors are clear of hostile targets. Uh, for the moment, a number of Klingon vessels retreated at high warp during the battle and activated the cloaking devices. Local ion interference will make harding them <laughs> will make finding them difficult, if not impossible. All right, let's uh, hail the Federation of vessels. No response. Recognition files identify the Klingon vessels as classes deployed during the Federation Klingon conflict in the 20th century. Starfleet vessel was a crossfire class, also active during that time period. Scanning. Sensors show a spike in the chronometric particles immediately preceding the arrival of these vessels. Fascinating. It finds them. The crossfield class vessel is not transmitting the Starfleet recognition signal. Sensor analysis confirmed. It is the ISS discovery from the Terran Empire. So-called Mira Universe. Hmm. That's interesting. Discovery is hailing us. Your timely assistance is most appreciated. Speaking for myself and my loyal crew, thank you. I am Captain Sylvia Tilly, and I officially declare our intent to seek asylum. Da da da. Clearly, this is going to take a little getting used to. I'm not entirely sure how, but judging by the sensor readings I'm seeing, it isn't that rather impressive shit of course. We may get a trip to the future. 
and uh, yeah, kind of went 150 years in the future. I'm sure the science behind all of this is fascinating, but we have some more immediate concerns to address, namely the Klingon boarding parties running wild on my ship. Yeah. Excellent. I'll have to tell. tell my chief of security meet your team at the transport coordinates with the security details. I look forward to meeting you in person. Tilly out. All right, let's go. So I hope you liked that little bit of. Uh, I figured instead of numerous life signs in your vicinity, reading multiple high energy discharges as well. The data is consistent with 23rd century phaser and disruptor weapons at the highest setting. Proceed with caution. In the heat of battle, you could be seen as an enemy by anyone you encounter there. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the cinematic mode for the uh, for the ship blowing up part. Thought it'd be kind of uh, it's a little bit different than just watching me spam my spacebar and clicking bridge officer abilities. Thought it'd just be a different look. So if you like that, please let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, uh, that was one of the new things that I planned on introducing this year. Uh, I wanted to take this character who is brand new um, and going through all the missions and trying to do that with uh, a lot of the space combat and missions going forward. Uh, I might even try it in ground, but I'm just going to start off baby steps here and just do it with some of the uh, space battle. So yeah, definitely let me know if you, uh, if you enjoyed that. But let's, uh, let's move forward with, uh, with the fun stuff. First, <laughs> that, and let's bring up the healing crystal. Welcome to the ISS Discovery. Uh, hello. Yeah, no. I'm afraid Patel has been relieved of command. Just like you're going to be relieved of those fancy 25th century weapons. No, you Our can't have captain it. captain is weak, and you? You're a fool. The Terran Empire tolerates neither. Some would call this mutiny. But any captain willing to conspire with Federation trash is no captain of ours. Now hand over those weapons, or we'll pick them off your corpses. The choice is yours. Yeah, no, I'm gonna keep them. You're you're kind of lippy to somebody who has superior technology than you. <laughs> yeah. Just remember, Zeph shot first. <laughs> So there's the shield we gotta take down. Oh, we gotta take this down. Do, 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 do. The voiceover work, as oh, always, is amazing. Like yes, it's got a warm welcome. Look out! They're still alive! Yes, we're still alive. Because we have 25th century technology, and you don't. Surprise! <laughs> Security door. I love this interior too. I really wish this could be a uh, for us. Now that I have your attention, 
I have some questions. Tilly has plans. Yes? She always has plans. And you're going to tell me what they are. Oh, you'll resist, of course. You're a Terran, after all. But let's be honest, Chief. You will tell me what I want to know. Apparently, Tilly's new allies are still with us. Yep. If you want something done right. Weapons Do it yourself. That's setting. why I'm here. Open fire. And away we go. How did I die? I'll kill you. Help me. Help me. There we go. That sucked. That didn't happen last time I played. I'm guessing you're the one the captain sent me to meet. I'm Patel, chief of security. Thanks for the assist. Are you okay? I make it a habit to be on the outside of an agonizer booth. But I spend my fair share of time in one, too. I'll manage. What's the situation? Is the captain still in command? Yeah, for now. They're trying to take that away. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It'll take more than Klingons and mutinous riffraff to end Sylvia Tilly. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't killed them all herself. In the meantime, I have orders to get you to the bridge, and I intend to obey them. Follow me. Uh, yeah, there's there's security fields up. Not a problem. There's no code written I can't crack. I'll have those fields down in short order. Cover me while I work. We might have some uninvited guests soon. Okie doke. Let's do this. Go, go, go! I think, oh yeah, I see you. You want me to finish? Maybe keep them off me for more than five seconds? What do you think I'm trying to do? God. Oh, he's dead! See her there. Die. Her get stunned. Yeah. Almost got it. Keep me covered. Yeah. This went a lot easier last time I played. Maybe because I was only at like level seven. <laughs> oh, didn't see you there. My bad. want me to finish. Maybe keep them off me for more than five seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. Maybe if you were good at your job, we wouldn't be in this position now, would we? God. <laughs> Waiting on you now. Oh, oh. All right, I got it. The security field's using my authorization codes now. A little help here. Keep sneaking back here. Go. Thought I saw one here. Yeah, there we go. Stop. I don't remember this many waves either. <laughs> Finally. Alright, 
Let's get to the bridge. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's get to the bridge. The turbo lift is that way. I like the Discovery medical uniform too. Running, 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 running. Watch your corners. Yep. No quarter, no prisoners. Attack! Ambush! I gotta say, I really like the, uh, the mirror uniform. Give me a second to get this field down. The only downside is it's, uh, low buy store, and I don't have the low buy for it. I also want the sword, but I don't have the low buy for it. <laughs> Take the shield down or what? Did we just get a bug? Rot row. Uh oh. Am I supposed to click something? I don't know what's going on now. Oh, there you go, finally. We're reading the loss of security fields on that deck. I take it you found Chief Patel? Yep, we're on our way. Some good news for a change, though I'm not terribly surprised. A woman's harder to kill than a honey badger. Ready for the bad news? Sure. I'm afraid the Klingons have taken several lower decks and are moving in your direction. Keep your weapons hot. They're killing everyone they run into. I don't think they'll make an exception for you. Stick with Patel and get up here as soon as you're able. Okay. I hear Klingon disruptors up ahead. Be ready for anything. Do not let that Klingon scum through this junction. There we go. Now we go this way. Hold your position. There's been an incident. Oh. The Klingon kind. Specifically, they've taken control of main engineering. Killed my chief engineer and his security team in the process. They're threatening to breach the core if I don't surrender. That is not going to happen. So we should leave, right? Evacuate sounds a lot like retreat to me, and that is not going to happen either. This is my ship, and I will not abandon her. Take Patel, get down to engineering, deal with the Klingons, and make sure that core breach never happens. Okay. I recommend you deal with this problem quickly. Neither of us will enjoy their solution. No, no, I, I Klingons agree. probably cracked Rathman's code, idiot. <laughs> that sounds like something I would say at work. Go. Taken care of. Down this hall. Into engineering. Oh, wait. Turbo. Bad news first. Seems there's more, more Klingons news. down there than we thought. You'll have to fight your way to main engineering. Good news? They'll be shooting at the mutineers down there. Might make your job a little easier, huh? Well, probably, yeah. I like how we have like a little pile that we've uh, accumulated here. <laughs> Great. Mutineers and Get these doors open. Oh. The Mark wants these cowards dead.
right. Oh, no. Oh. Be slow. They're not even targeting vital systems. They're just trashing the place. I mean, just keep throwing it on the wall until it sticks, right? Let's hustle, people! Rathman's dead, and we will be too if you don't get that turbo lift open. Where do I need to go? Straight. And to the left, right? On your lead, we'll breach. You go high, I'll go low. We all die this day. Die well. Die Fish in a barrel. <laughs> oh. Ah. Get away from me. I was gonna say one of my officers looked like she didn't have a uh, a weapon. I'm like I could have swore I gave you one. <laughs> no, no, you're on my team. We done? Yes. Looks like the Klingons are in a hurry. That is some sloppy work. I was solving engineering problems like that when I was a first year cadet. Rebalance the matter antimatter inducers and adjust the flow rate to 0.5. That should bring the core back from the brink quite nicely. Okay. Hope you know what you're doing. That oh, yeah. warp core looks fit to breach. I'm a professional. Oops. See? Nicely done. Cut it a little close there with the core, but since we're all still here, I'm gonna call that a win. So, since we've got a little room to breathe here, why don't you come up to the bridge? There's a turbo lift nearby that I've relaxed the security locks on. Okay. Uh, this one. The green light on the panel. <sighs> face to face at last. Captain, are you sure we can trust these assholes? Language! Language. I think it's the first time I've heard a swore, or I swear, in Star Trek Online. Ugh, cursing. Such a filthy habit. You did well against the mutineers. They weren't fond of my decision to seek asylum, I'm afraid. That look on your face when you've Violent heard your first pleasant, swear word. <laughs> it is better than the fate we left behind. In our universe, Pavo is a cruel, deadly entity. Being sent to that system is a death sentence. And sent there we were. I suppose an enemy decided it was time for me to retire permanently. But enough about that. Let's get down to business, shall we? All right. Uh, yeah. First and foremost, I have no interest in hostilities with your government. I meant what I said about asylum. Mhm. Mm I do. The mutiny was unfortunate, but what can I say? We're Terrans. Dominance is often challenged and must be maintained. The mutineers saw an opportunity, took their shot, and missed. Big time. Everyone left saw the price they paid for their failure. Believe me, the rest of the crew will fall in line. Uh-huh. I'm fortunate you were here to deal with the problem. Apparently, my chief of security felt like spending time in an agonizer booth during most of the conflict. Honestly, Patel, if I knew you liked the booth so much, I'd keep you in one more often. Oh my. Why, you... are right to say so, Captain. It won't happen again. See to it that it doesn't. I'd hate to replace you, Chief, but I will if I have to. So, what do we do next? Next steps are to get my vessel back in working order before those Klingons come back to finish us off. Now that's not going to be easy. I'm down a chief engineer, the power grid is a shambles, we have multiple hull breaches, and we're nowhere near battle ready. Alright. 
Uh, we detected a surge in the ISS Discovery's warp core, but now it's operating within safe levels. I know. I fixed it. Send an engineering team. Our shields are down. If the Klingons don't get us, it's only a matter of time before the Ion Storm does. Monitor that console while I try to get the main deflector back online. I'd order my chief science officer to do it, but she chose her loyalties poorly. Hmm. Start a diagnostic on the shield emitters. I'll start to recalibrate the main deflector. Klingons! All hands! Repel borders! Enemy Me? Uninvited guests. But the captain is mine. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Grab one guy here. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, this is the captain guy. Okay, the main deflector is in position. Recalibrate it now. Okay. Ugh, Press they're the like Zethian bed roaches. Get off my ship! I like the floor here, by the way. Just saying. And I, I kind of wish we had a button that we could toggle this, uh, this tactical alert on the screen. Sensors are picking up numerous Klingon vessels decloaking. Combat is imminent. I strongly recommend you return to the ship at your earliest convenience. Okay. Captain should be on their own ship in the heat of battle. Go. We'll take it from here. Uh, okay. Impulse power restored, but only just. If we want this to be more than a patch job, we'll need more time. Uh, time's up. Return to the ship. Thank you. If we survive this, I look forward to repaying the favor. Now go, before it's too late. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> you scare me. Alright, Klingons are hailing us. I do not know how we came to be here in the future. And I do not care. What I do know is that we have a mutual enemy. Yeah, it's it's complicated. There is nothing complex about it. I mean to destroy that ship, and you with it. Get in my way. Be smart. Your ship has the technical advantage. We have the advantage of numbers. And we are Klingon. Start with discovery, and you will lose. Fight mm. with us. Another day. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna protect you. Fighting in a burning house. Try to die well. Today is a good day for Pi. Alright. And that means let's do cinematic mode again. Discovery is altering course. They're headed toward Pavo at full impulse. Discovery has lowered her shields, reading transporter signatures to Pavo's surface. Klingon vessels decloaking. Whew. Whatever that was that hit us, whatever that was hit us hard. Receiving casual reports from all decks. 
Uh, shields are full, deflector online, all weapons ready. It appears to have bypassed all of our defense systems. Like they weren't even there. What? Based on what the sensors recorded during the attack, it appears we were hit by psionic energy, manifested into an energy pulse of considerable magnitude. The attack originated on Pavo. Pavo attacked us? Why? We're being hailed. It's Captain Tilly. I don't like red in my ledger. You saved my ship, so I spared yours. This time. Next time I won't be so... sentimental. First and last warning. Leave the system while you're able. What do you hope to gain from this? Did you hit your head in that fight? Yeah, I, I did, think actually. what I have to gain here is pretty obvious. Everything. Pavo's reach is infinite. After a few more demonstrations of its power, everyone in the quadrant will have no choice but to swear allegiance to me. Or, you know, die. Empress Tilly. And that has a nice ring to it, don't you think? No. You're, 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 you're insane. Sane, insane. I'm the one calling the shots here. And I'm pretty sure I told you to get lost or get wrecked. So who's the insane one again? Me or the lunatic staring defiantly down the barrel of the ultimate weapon? Tick tock bell. My trigger finger's getting itchy. <laughs> I am reading an energy signature on the surface of Pavo. It matches the initial blast from the planet. Another attack could be imminent. We will not survive a direct hit. I strongly recommend we exit the system immediately. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. Captain Tilly's betrayal, while unfortunate, was not entirely unexpected. Her use of this agonizer technology to weaponize the ecosystem of Pavo is a matter of utmost concern. I believe I can devise a means to neutralize her technology, but I will need time to conduct research. Rest assured that I will endeavor to counter Tilly's insidious actions as soon as possible. I ask that you prepare to take action at a moment's notice. The lives of untold millions, including our own, could be at stake. Hmm. Alright, so that brings us to the end of our mission. Uh, I'm going to actually reclaim the shield, because that's actually better stats than what I have now. <laughs> uh, so, next video, we're going to be playing the uh, the other new mission that was introduced with uh, Mirror of Discovery, which is uh, Illusion of Communication. Uh, and that one is heavily ground. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, this video is uh, one of the longer ones. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Uh, let me know what you thought of cinematic mode for the uh, the space battle scenes. If uh, if you enjoy that more than just like a static image of me clicking bridge officer abilities, I kind of want to bring something a little bit different uh, to the table. Uh, it's not a knock to other people who do let's play videos. It's just me. Um, I I'm known for my cinematic stuff, and I kind of want to just uh, push the envelope a little bit more on that. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.